1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Ali Ahmad. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has launched Naya Pakistan Qaumi Sehat Card program for Faisalabad Division. Interior Minister says network of Nadra officers will be spread to the far flung areas of the country. Foreign Minister has urged Indian Muslims to stand up for the protection of their fundamental rights. The second phase of the 7th edition of Pakistan Super League begins in Lahore from tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has launched Naya Pakistan Qaumi Sehat Card program for Faisalabad Division at a ceremony in Faisalabad today. Radio Pakistan correspondent Sajjad Parvez reports from Faisalabad that after the launching of this revolutionary program, about 15 million people belonging to four districts of Faisalabad, Jhang, Toba Singh and Chinyot will be entitled to get free medical indoor treatment facility through nominated government and private hospitals free of cost. The holder of the card can get free medical facility for major diseases including cancer, hepatitis, diabetes, heart-related ailments, thalassemia, HIV, AIDS, kidney transplantation, gynecology-related and other major diseases up to the tune of 1 million rupees annually. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmed has said network of Nadra offices will be spread to the far-flung areas of the country. Talking to the media persons in Islamabad today, he said 13 passport offices will be established in Interior Sindh, whilst succession certificate will also be introduced in Azad Kashmir and Balochistan. The Interior Minister said that salaries of all civil armed forces have been enhanced by 15% and he has requested the Prime Minister to raise the salaries of other departments as well. Sheikh Rashid said the Iranian Interior Minister is also visiting Pakistan next week. Responding to a question, Sheikh Rashid said, Prime Minister Imran Khan faces no threat from the opposition parties who will face defeat if opted for the no-confidence motion. Foreign Minister Shah Mehmet Qureshi has urged the Indian Muslims to stand up for the protection of their fundamental rights. In a statement today, he said the persecution campaign will not stop if the Muslims remain silent. The foreign minister strongly condemned the banning of hijab at educational institutions in Karnataka state. He said the flag bearers of human rights should take notice of it and speak for the rights of the Muslim girl students who are being deprived of the fundamental right of education. Voicing concerns over the maltreatment of minorities in India, Shah Mehmet Qureshi said Pakistan is hosting 48th session of the OIC Council of Foreign Ministers and it will discuss the issues faced by Muslim Ummah, including Palestine and Kashmir disputes, as well as Islamophobia. 50 more deaths and 4,253 new positive cases of coronavirus have been reported in the country during the last 24 hours. According to the statistics issued by National Command and Operation Center, 51,749 tests were conducted, while positivity ratio remained 8.2%. 1,731 patients of the coronavirus are in critical care. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, complete shutdown is being observed today to mark the ninth martyrdom anniversary of prominent son of soil Muhammad Afzal Guru. Call for the strike has been given by the incarcerated All Party Zuriyat Conference Chairman Masarat Alam Bhatt, Mirwai Zumar Farooq, and Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front. Russia and Iran have agreed to fully restore the Tehran nuclear deal. This was agreed during the telephonic conversation between Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Iranian counterpart Hussein Amir Abdullahian. According to the Russian Foreign Ministry statement, both sides discussed the situation around the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action and the ongoing talks in Vienna over the landmark deal. They also expressed support for a quick revival of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action in its original form. 
France's President Emmanuel Macron has called on all sides to stay calm to resolve the Ukraine crisis. At a joint news briefing with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv, Emmanuel Macron said that he believed steps can be taken to escalate the Ukrainian crisis. The second phase of the 7th edition of Pakistan Super League will start in Lahore from tomorrow. First match of the second phase will be played between Multan Sultans and Peshawar Zalmi at 7.30 p.m. The National Command and Operations Centre has allowed Pakistan Cricket Board to conduct PSL matches with 50% capacity for fully vaccinated spectators. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gv.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.